Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to another vlog. So, first, I want to say sorry that I didn't upload last week. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about it later on during the vlog. It was just a really bad week, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. And this vlog is probably also going to go late. I don't think it's going to go up on Sunday because I'm actually filming on Sunday. <laughs> Look at her. She just like, every time she hears me talking, she just wants to come and you know see like who am i talking to i'm talking to myself bella <laughs> today's vlog is gonna be i don't know it's gonna be super random i'm just gonna be showing you guys like plants that i'm adding in my bedroom hence why i'm in my bedroom i actually already started filming that so i have the other camera over here and then um i'm gonna add a, other things that i think i have done during the week that i just film little things here and there um, I did get a new plant, so I'm going to show you guys when I got a new plant. Yeah, this is just going to be a really random vlog. I hope you guys like it. So yeah, let's just get into the vlog. I got a new plant. I ordered it on Etsy. So let's open her up and see how she came, if she came in good condition or not. This plant, the name of it... It's kind of hard for me to pronounce, so I'll just put the name somewhere here. Oh, and the roots, I can feel like they're really warm. Because today is like 100 degrees when she arrived. Okay, so here are the cuttings. The cuttings are good. I mean, there's a lot, but there's not much roots as you guys can see. There's only a couple roots right here. Um, there's no roots on this one, which kind of worries me because, yeah, I don't know where the roots are going to come here, but I want to put them on water. Okay, so this is how it looks. Some of the leaves are damaged, as you guys can see right here. One of them are, is broken, I think it's this one. This one's broken. You can tell right there. I don't know if I should cut it right now or later. I think I'm going to leave it. This one looks kind of yellow, which I don't know if it's dying or if it's a new leaf. I don't know nothing about this plant. I know I shouldn't have bought a plant without not knowing anything. But it looked beautiful. It was on sale. So I bought it. It does seem like there's some new leaves coming in. See, this one's new. There's, I think, another one over here. So we're going to have this propagating in water for a while because it doesn't really have that much of a root system. I don't know, in another vlog, I'll let you guys know how she's doing. It's going to take probably a couple weeks for her to develop more roots. So I already put the shelf and everything and then I put my twinkle lights and I put this frame here, which I think I'm going to put like something else over here. I feel like this whole wall was really empty and just needed something else there, so... Yeah, eventually I'm gonna buy maybe another print. I don't know what I want to put there, but for now it's gonna stay like this. So the only hard thing about having plants here in my bedroom is that I don't get much natural lighting because there is a big tree outside my patio and it kind of blocks all the light that comes in here. So I do have to have grow lights, which kind of sucks because see, I put this one here. It bothers me to see like the cord. <laughs> Um, if there's a way that you guys know how I could hide the cord or make the lamp look a little bit nicer, let me know. You guys will see at the end how it's going to look with the plants once I put the plants there. But yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, let me turn it off so you guys kind of see. I mean, it's a good grow light. I really recommend this grow light, honestly. I've been using it for a while now. And I noticed that it works really good. I used to have it in my living room. So I'll link it down below for you guys if you guys are looking for a grow light. But anyways, yeah. And over here I have a couple of the plants that I'm going to put there. I am going to be bringing more plants from my living room. It's going to see like how exactly I want to decorate because I don't know yet. So I'm just going to be adding some plants and putting other stuff. I have also this frame that I want to put in there. This print I just printed out from my printer, which as you guys could see is not as dark as I want it to be because I don't have enough ink. The thing about me is that I like anything that has to do with the sky, the stars, 
the galaxies, the moon, the sun, anything that has to do with the sky, I love. Hence why I have also that one, which has basically, I think it's supposed to be like Earth and then all the constellations. So anything that has to do with that, I freaking love. <laughs> So I moved some plants around. I think I like this better. So I got on top of my bed so you guys could see better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Eventually, I will want to add more plants, but I don't have many plants right now to add. So I got these really cool macrame plant hanging. I like these little designs. They're so cool. Look at this one. It's almost like a... I don't know, it kind of looks like a little chandelier or something. <laughs> so these are the ones that I'm going to hang by my window. Do you guys want to know what kind of music I listen to? First of all, I still listen to music in Pandora. I know, I know. That's how you know that I'm old. Like, I don't know how to use Spotify. I've tried, but on my playlist already in Pandora, and it's like, they've been with me for years and years, and I just don't want to change, you know? <laughs> But, I don't know if you guys could tell the name of the song that I'm listening to. I'm try. I'm gonna try to play a little bit. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. But let me know if you guys know this song. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, so this morning I've been putting this window privacy film. I got this as sign and you guys can kind of tell right here in the bottom. It's cute. It kind of reminds me like old windows like from like an old house and I love that kind of look. And also what I like about this one, you guys could probably tell this one is more see-through. Maybe with my camera you can't really tell. I could still see a little bit from outside which I don't know if it's good or bad but it's good for my plants because they're going to get a little bit more light. So I already have one plant hanging here and then I have this grow light here. And as you guys could tell, I already started putting another hook here. So I'm going to do a little bit of kind of what I did in my living room. Bring a little bit from my living room over here. So I'm going to have a hanging shelf here. And you guys will see that right now. I already have this plant right here. And then I'm going to have another plant here. These plants eventually are going to start trailing. So I don't mind that they are still a little bit too high. There's like nothing here because eventually they are going to start trailing. Um, I do wanted to show you guys how to hang a plant in the ceiling because if you guys also live alone and also if you don't have a man to help you, which you don't need a man to do this stuff. I want to do a separate video about this where I share with you guys all my tools that I have because I feel like every girl needs to have tools. Because we have to learn how to do things by ourselves. We can't depend on a guy to do it for us. Um, yeah, so my ceiling is this ugly popcorn ceiling that I hate so, so much. But you know what? What can I do? I rent an apartment. I can do nothing about it. But I'm going to show you guys how to put a plant and make sure that it doesn't fall. Because plants are kind of heavy, especially if you're going to put it like in a heavy um pot or like a shelf that i did so let me show you guys that okay so i'm sitting on the floor so i could show you guys because i don't know what's the best way for me to show you this so what you need there's a lot of hairs <laughs> because my hair falls a lot okay so what you're gonna need you need a little i don't know what is this called a little hook this is where you're gonna hang your plant so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this. And it has a little screw. All of them has a little screw. Um, some are longer. This one is kind of short, which I don't like. I like them when they're a little bit longer. But this is all I have right now. And then you need an anchor. I think this is what they're called. They look like this. There's different kinds of anchors. Um, I These ones for me, I feel like they're a little bit easier to put on. And they hold really well my plants, especially because I know the plants that I'm going to put right now are not really big or that heavy. 
so I know these are going to work, but so the thing that you do is, this is kind of hard to do because my camera doesn't want to focus. You put this in here, you screw it as much as you can, and it kind of hurts because of all the stuff that it has in there. But you just want to screw it, screw it all the way in. I think that's the most it's going to do. And then, so you, you have to have this ready, okay? Before you make a hole in the ceiling. Then you just kind of see the length of this, like how thick it is. And you need one of these. I don't know what these are called, drills? These are, no, bits. I think they're called bits for your drill. I'll try to find that name and put it somewhere here because I have tools but I don't know every name of the tools okay <laughs> okay so you need something like this you need this to make a hole first in the ceiling and you want something that is going to be almost as thick as this but not exactly because if you buy one if you put a hole that is as thick as this right here this is not going to stay it's going to fall so this one see compared to it the thickness is almost it's as close as it's going to get to this. So I'm going to make a hole first with this. Obviously you need a drill. And then I'm going to put this in the ceiling. You guys will see. Let me just show you. First of all, let me tell you guys this is not going to be easy for me to film for you guys. So I hope this helps someone because it's not easy for me to be showing you guys. As you guys could tell, I already have a hook in there. I already have the hook in there. Why? Because I was playing around with holes. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds right or not. Because I didn't know where I wanted to place my clamp. So I put the hook, but there's nothing in it. There's no anchor yet. So it's easy for me to take it off. I'll just unscrew it. But see, if I was to leave this hook just in there, this will fall off like eventually it will fall off because there's nothing it's not really grabbing to anything in the wall in the ceiling okay but I'm just gonna show you guys like kind of like what I would do to make the hole do you guys have an idea so here's my drill I love having a drill it's the best thing you could ever have if you live alone okay so you just go here and you make the hole you're gonna get your little hook. Sorry if this is not focusing, but you guys are gonna tell with your anchor and you're gonna put it inside. The hole is gonna be smaller than this, but you guys will see why it's better that it's small. Because you're just kinda gonna screw it in. You're gonna push it in and then you're gonna start turning it and screwing it inside. As you're doing that, the hole is getting bigger, but the anchor opens up like this once it goes inside, like a V, I think. There, it's all the way in. Sorry I can't zoom you guys more, but my camera doesn't zoom more than that. But see, if I pull it hard, <laughs> it's not going to come out. It's going to stay there forever, probably. So there it is. You could kind of tell where it is. It's white and the reason why I got white so it could hide with the ceiling. You can't really see it. Now don't ask me how to take them off because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I move from this apartment, I don't know what I'm going to do to take them off. I'll find out when that happens. But for now, they're in there. It's not coming now. <laughs> they're gonna look um if you guys could tell it still have some like little silver hooks this one i already had put in it's silver but i am gonna spray paint it one and it's gonna look obviously so much better once <laughs> i'm able to open my window more because right now i can only show you guys like this
Oh, by the way, let me tell you what plants I put. So I have this Scandapsis exotica and a used to be in my living room, but I brought her over here. I'm thinking I'm gonna put her in a white pot so they're all white. And then I have, these are the cuttings of my Arizona Monstera. And now they have roots, so they're gonna be here. And a potos. I just wanted to put plants that don't need that much light here because I'm gonna say this over and over, I don't have that much direct sunlight here, so it's kind of really a dark room. So yeah, so these are gonna be great. I was also thinking of putting plants here. Um, excuse my mess, like I said, I was putting that screen thing. Um, but I did brought some plants from my living room just to kind of see how they would look like the bigger plants. And I honestly did not like it. I felt like it was too cluttered, like it was too much. So what I'm going with this is I want to make it kind of cozy right here. So I'm going to clean right now. And I'm thinking I'm maybe putting like a rug here, like a really like soft rug here. And then I'm going to put a cushion to sit down because also once fall comes, I kind of like to be able to sit down here open my window and just kind of see the trees like how they change the leaf colors and everything and I feel like if I cover this with the plants I'm not going to be able to do that so yeah and maybe I'm going to add some more twinkle lights here later on when fall comes I don't know yet I also brought my mirror right here which I have this mirror in the living room this is not going to stay here forever eventually I'm going to put it back in my living room because I just wanted to see how it would look to have a mirror right here but I want to find one that is gold or rusted gold or one that I could spray paint gold so this one I can like I wouldn't do that to this material like just feel like it's not gonna look nice and this one goes perfect in my living room so but I just wanted to kind of see like how would that look so I brought that and then I did put this plant here because like I said I was playing around with plants and I don't know if she's gonna stay here but I do think maybe I do need at least just one plant in the floor so either somewhere here or somewhere in that corner but I need to find like the perfect plant for now I'm leaving my CC plant here and see how that plant does because like I said like it's all about the lighting in this room like there's not much lighting that they're gonna get here if they're on the bottom and I really do not want to have so many grow lights i think that's my main issue that i didn't want to feel like i just have a lot of grow lights because they don't look that nice and that's what was bothering me in my living room i don't have to deal with that which is just perfect and that's why i could have all my plants over there like my young go over there let me play for you guys another song i mean like i seriously feel like i have the best playlist when you're just cleaning or you're just Feeling some, I don't know, my playlist, I feel like it makes me feel some type of way. Also, do you guys see how much I'm breaking now in my chest? I think it's this weather, I seriously hate the heat. I feel like my body just reacts with it, like I get overheated that I break out so much in my chest. And also I think it's stressed because I've been feeling really stressed the past week, so I don't know. But if you guys know like what I could put or how I could remove this because I've been having this issue for years. Like I've tried like little things here and there. Sometimes they work, but I feel like it just gets really bad every year. And honestly, I don't even know what to put. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys know like what I could put. I shower like all the time. It's not like I don't shower. I'm clean. Um, but I don't know. I just... I don't know what it makes it like this like it's just oh I hate it especially during summer like I want to wear tank tops and it looks so ugly you know like it just I don't know I'm taking a little lunch break lunch breakfast I haven't ate all morning so <laughs> it's already kind of late I made this sandwich and I just wanted to show you guys because it is so good I got it from TikTok I follow this girl that she does a lot of like good recipes it has egg with spinach, um, avocado, tomatoes, and and turkey bacon with whole wheat bread. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? Okay, 
Dave is already cleaning this area and I just put this little rug right here and that's the little cushion that I was telling you guys. So yeah, so this is how it looks so far. I'm gonna leave this like this for now and then I don't know what else <laughs> I'm gonna add. So yeah, so I'm gonna be having a room tour soon for you guys. I think I already kind of put everything that I wanted to put here in my room. I mean, there is little things here and there that I do want to change, but eventually that will take time. So, but look at all my little babies. I finally have some plants here. Okay, so I'm sitting right here on my vanity again. And let me just kind of catch you guys up with what's been going on the past week and a half. It's been a really kind of rough week because I this just happens to me um, with anxiety and depression. It's like... I'll be like really high and then I'll just go down really low like real quick. I notice the pattern of it and usually starts when I'm about to get my period is when I just feel like I just get super super depressed and I think it has to do something with my hormones. I've been having a lot of issues when it comes to my period. I know I need to go to the doctor and I've just been putting it off for so long. I don't know why. But every time, like a week before my period, I get really, really weak. Like my bones start to hurt really, really bad. Even like for me to even like hold like like a brush or um, anything just for me to just like, like this, just touch something like this. It hurts so bad. Like my fingers, like my bones feel like they're going to break. So I don't know what it is, but it's something related to my period. So... That happened um, where I was just feeling really, really down. I was just feeling really weak. And then I also started feeling a little bit sick. I think it's mainly my allergies because of the AC. The thing is with the AC on, like I get really bad allergies. Like I started getting like a runny nose and then I just feel like super stuffy. And yeah, it, overall it was just, I don't know, I was just feeling kind of like sick and weak and really depressed and during that time i feel like my mind goes to a really dark place and it's really scary because now every month when my period is going to come i'm always like super anxious about it because i know every time during that week or week and a half it's really bad for me like my like i said my depression is just really really bad and it's weird like i have talked about this and therapy and we're not sure why that happens um, my therapist does think it has to do something with my hormones or I don't know something that is mainly medical that she can't really help me with like I have to go see a doctor for that I don't know if you guys have followed me for a while but if you guys have followed me at least from last summer uh, you guys will know that summer is really bad for me I hate hot weather my body overheats dramatically and I think now that I'm overweight, it's even worse for me. I feel like for me, summer is when I shut down. You know, a lot of people have like winter, they that's when they're like, oh, they feel sad. I don't want to go nowhere because it's cold for me. It's summer. It's when I feel like I shut down and I don't want to do anything because it's so hot. I can't stand being outside. I get really bad headaches and i can't i feel like i can't even focus because my headaches are so bad i think that's why it's hard for me to stay consistent during summer with filming because there is weeks where it's like 100 degrees and i i, I just can't freaking film like i just have no mind for it so forgive me for that like it might happen again during the summer summer's not over yet <laughs> which is like oh my god i i wanted it to be over um, so I might have some days that I won't upload when I'm supposed to. It does hurt me to not upload because I feel like I disappointed you guys by not uploading a video. I don't know. But I'm going to try my best. So that's what I wanted to ask you guys. Um, where is the best place for me to let you guys know if I'm going to miss an upload? Do you guys want me to put it here on YouTube? Because I know here on YouTube there's, um... I forgot what it's called, but we I can write something and you guys will see it. And or Instagram or um I think those are the only social medias I could probably tell you guys. So let me know down below if if you guys want me to tell you here on YouTube or tell you on Instagram where 
if I'm uploading that video or if I'm not uploading that video. Also, if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, I never even mentioned it for some reason. I don't know why. But follow me on Instagram. I try to stay more active there at least. Show you guys here little things. Especially if you guys follow me for like plant content. I show a lot of plant content on my Instagram. Like just little updates and things that are happening. So follow me there. So yeah, my little stuff has been going on the past week and a half. But I'm starting to get my energy back. Starting to feel a little bit better. Um, but no promises for next week. <laughs> It just, I go just every day by day. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys like this vlog. If you guys did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Go um, follow me on Instagram. If you guys already follow me on Instagram and I don't follow you back, I don't know, somehow let me know. <laughs> so, I could follow you guys back because sometimes I don't know who's coming from my YouTube channel. And I want to follow you guys because... Like, that means a lot that you guys are coming from my YouTube channel to my Instagram and you guys want to follow me. So, yeah. So, go check me out over there because I do post more over there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, my loves.